Well, it was a little closer than I like, but you know, sometimes when you come out to this tournament, that first match is, is, you know, it sets the tone for the rest of the tournament. I went out there and I tried to get every point I could, and uh, you know, luckily it, it ended up in my favor, and that sort of kickstarted my run here. He is David I think the first takedown was really big because it put David in the driver's seat and, and he immediately, you could see him immediately relax. Pat number two, where the green from American, David Terrell. Even though I lost, I feel like, I, you know, I went out and I can't, I don't feel bad at all. You know, I'm a little sad that I lost, obviously, but I, I don't feel bad about my performance just because I gave it everything I had. The crowd loved it, which I am so surprised at their reaction, but... You know, I put everything on the line against the returning national champ, and I was razor close to coming up with it. I don't think there's words uh, to describe how does a fourth placer get the arena to give him a standing ovation. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, David Terrell, American University. David wrestles with passion, and he he was able to show his passion through his third place match and this arena saw it this arena felt it what can they learn from David everything anybody can win once you get to this tournament and um, and you got to have love for the sport this young man understands everything about wrestling he understands every strategy every technique he's committed to the lifestyle and the sacrifice and you can see it when he competes you know I hope to see some of the other guys next year come out and do even bigger things Obviously my brother and then like the rest of the guys. Every one of them can come out here if they believe and have a performance. Even better than I did. They, they can go all the way. I'll stick around and, and I'll try and give them uh, all the support I can. We went through a lot of ups and downs this year as a team, a lot. David went through a lot of ups and downs. But um, I'm on cloud nine right now. At the beginning of the tournament, if you would have told me I'd be a cloud nine with a fourth placer, I wouldn't have believed you, but after what I witnessed today, I'm, I'm the happiest coach on the planet.